later, I had blah, blah, blah. It was a freaking nightmare. And yatta yatta yatta. Hi, I'm Mallory Brooke, makeup artist and content creator here on YouTube, and today we are trying out the brand new NARS Soft Matte Advanced Perfecting Powder. And let me tell you something, I ordered this about two weeks ago from the NARS website because it hadn't launched on Sephora yet. So if you order from the NARS website, be careful because it auto-corrects your address and it auto-corrected an address of like as soon as I checked out to somewhere in like Idaho. So I immediately <laughs> emailed customer service. I said, I just placed my order like within seconds and your website is auto-corrected my address and now it's going to Idaho. Can we please fix this? I didn't get an email until the next day and they said, well, unfortunately your order has processed. Like we can't cancel it or ship it to your address. You have to wait for it to go to the wrong address and then we'll, you know, once it's confirmed delivered to the wrong address, we'll send you a new one. It was a freaking nightmare. It went to the wrong address. It got reverted back to the NARS warehouse and I had been emailing them through the whole thing and they were like, well, since it's shipping back to us, we're, cause it was an, it was an invalid address that their, their website auto corrected my address to. So since it was already being sent back to the warehouse, they just went ahead and refunded me. I'm like, I just, I just need this for a review. Why is this so difficult? Like, and I couldn't do it through my FedEx account, but I know that they could have done it with theirs. Anyway, had to wait for my shade to be available on Sephora. So here we are. There's that short story. The soft matte advanced perfecting powder is 36 dollars so she's not cheap and you get 0.31 ounces of powder i purchased the shade where is it on the box cliff <laughs> Purchase this shade cliff. The claims are, it does say it's best for oily skin. Now I do have dry skin, but just because you have dry skin doesn't mean that every product that's geared towards oily skin won't work for you. Sometimes it's worth a try. There are some products that are geared toward oily skin that I end up really, really liking, like the NARS Soft Matte Concealer and the NARS Soft Matte Foundations. So it's a matte finish. It's good for acne and blemishes. It has a natural to matte finish. It has medium coverage. It's a skin perfecting powder that blurs and smooths the look of skin and sets makeup for 24 hours. Okay, wash your face. Don't wear your makeup for 24 hours. We're definitely not gonna be trying that out, that aspect. We're just gonna see if this blurs a little bit under my eyes because I really only use setting powder for under my eyes. I rarely do my entire face because my skin is dry. Okay, it looks like the powder might be cracked in there because it's kind of all over the box. Packaging is classic NARS, you know, kind of like soft matte. All right, it didn't crack. Girl, she just got a little loose in there. That's not the best, but it says it has cocoa butter treated with mica minerals to allow to glide on effortlessly leaving skin feeling like silk. It has niacinamide that minimizes the appearance of pores and absorbs oil over time. And it has adaptive oil control technology. Yatta yatta yatta. So it does say to use a powder brush. It says, obviously it recommends their powder brush. I have my favorite powder brush, honestly, for application. It is a MAC 140S. I like the fan shape. I don't even know if MAC still has this. If they do, it will be linked below along with everything else that we use today on my face. So I'm going to apply this to my under eyes here and see how it does there. Now I did like I said, I purchased this to be applied underneath my eyes. If you do need to apply something all over your face, this says that it would be great for that. This is a very light to light with neutral undertone. It actually looks like it is just white. So let's see how this goes. All right, that's how much product got picked up. Now I'm going to set my concealer with this and bring it down a little bit on my cheeks here. And my hope for this powder is, because I do like to bake, to brighten, and all of that good stuff. So, it didn't really minimize any pores or blur anything. Is this, oh my eyes burning. My eyes burning. This side has no powder on it whatsoever, just concealer. And this is the side with the NARS powder. I'm not gonna tell you right now. I'm not liking the way my eyeball is feeling. And I feel like it just, it didn't smooth really anything. It just kind of enhanced a little bit of texture. Let me know if you've tried this or you're gonna try it. If you have oily skin or dry skin, because I am very, very curious on what you think. 
all right it feels really drying and again this is for more oily skin but if you're gonna use a setting powder underneath your eyes it's not the most oily place on your face I was just kind of hoping this would work but for all my dry skin gals there that might appreciate the NARS soft matte concealer and the the foundation I don't know if this is gonna be a good addition to that line for you I'm gonna apply the rest of my makeup and I'll be back to show you what it looks like after it's kind of set for a second on my face and kind of go from there. But for now, and now my other eyes burn in a little bit. I don't know, it just looks kind of drying, honestly. All right, we're back. We've had this powder on for a good 30 minutes and I feel like it's cakey. I just don't see any blurring or any kind of advantages for me as a dry skinned person. Now again, I already knew it was geared towards oily skin, but just because it is, it doesn't mean that it won't work for dry skin. So I had to try it out for my dry skin gals. But if you do have like, I feel like a product like this, I would use on someone who has like oily to extremely oily skin, especially since it's supposed to absorb oil throughout the day. I do like the niacinamide being in there for brightening and all the good stuff, but when you're putting a powder on over uh, coverage products, there's already a barrier there between your skin and the powder, so I'm not quite sure how much of an advantage you're gonna get by using a powder with niacinamide in it. Like I get it, but I don't I don't know if that's really a perk I extra perk I want to pay for in a setting powder. My eyes still feel a burning feeling after applying this. It's kind of subsiding, but it hasn't gone away and it's been 30-ish minutes. So I don't even think that this is good for my sensitive eyes. It's not making my skin feel like anything, but I feel like it got a little cakey. Uh underneath my eyes and a little bit, you know, next to my nose. So I'm just not a big fan. I don't think I would add this into my soft matte routine. I can't imagine how this might look all over the face. It, I just think it would end up looking extremely, extremely cakey. And honestly, the packaging being so thin, do you see this? This is not a powder that I would feel safe to throw in my bag. Like the Laura Mercier Candle Glow Powder, I don't mind throwing that in my bag or even the Charlotte Tilbury Setting Powder. I don't, they don't break in your bag because there's like a, it's, it's a pretty, it's pretty thick packaging. I feel safe putting that in my bag for touch-ups, you know, and also just using the mirror. This packaging, however, I don't believe this would be handbag safe. I could be wrong, but the way it's feeling to me and it's already just in shipping, having this issue, I would not give my stamp of approval to throw this in your bag. I'm definitely gonna return this. I don't like it. My eyes are burning and I feel like I'm looking a little cakey. Let's zoom you in. You'll see what I'm talking about. I have it. I mean, it's matte. It mattified. That's for sure. But it's just not a, a powder that I would reach for. It's just not melding well with my skin type. Again, I really don't even think this would meld well with normal skin. I think you really need oily to extremely oily skin for this to not work for you, but really see the benefits of it and it not creating a cakey effect. So let me know if you guys are gonna try this. I am going to return it. Not a fan. I don't feel safe with the packaging anyway, and my eyes are burning. All of the shades are now available on Sephora. They were sold out for a while, and again, that's why I purchased on the NARS website and had that whole ordeal happen. But if you like shopping on the NARS website and you don't have a problem with it auto-correcting your address, they need to fix that. Let me know if you've had that experience. All the shades are available, like none of them are sold out. So I will link it below if you're curious and interested. I don't necessarily believe it's a terrible powder. It's just irritating my eyes and it's not working well for my 34 year old fine lined under eyes at this moment in time. But let me know if you love it. Let us know, uh, keep the conversation in the comments so we know what you recommend. What is a mattifying powder maybe that you recommend that doesn't end up looking cakey? Just not for me. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I really, you know, I feel like a product like this gets thrown into quick review videos when something that's, you know, a $40 setting powder that you are gonna use daily, I feel like we really need to focus on singular products like this again, especially in in-depth reviews, so that's why I'm doing it. So let me know if you, you know, like that type of video. You know, it's just not to throw these types of products in very fast, quick reviews. You know, just like and subscribe. Let your girl know. If you like this video and you like singular product reviews that help you decide whether or not to shop the product, give it a like. Let YouTube know, let me know. 
thank you so much. I will see you guys in the next one.